Hi guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Hey. It's your girl Carlos. And David. And we are back for another video. And today's video is the ultimate video outside of labor delivery, I feel. But uh, it is finally time at the salon to meet our baby girl. The new addition to the Isaac family. Yes, yeah, so we want to formally introduce you guys and also reveal her name. If you don't follow us on Instagram, then you would have not known her name because I did reveal it maybe about a week ago, mm -hmm. a week or two ago. I don't know when this video is coming out, but at least a week or two ago, I actually posted it first photos and uh her name revealed so if you don't follow us on instagram you need to because that you would already have known this but if you did if you don't that's okay too you will get to know her now and all the details about her and what's going on and her after labor and delivery etc so her first two weeks of life yes yeah, so if you're interested in getting to know her just keep on watching now i feel like weird because this is like the first time we had did a formally formal introduction mm -hmm. to our newest edition but let's go ahead and introduce you guys now and this is baby girl <laughs> she just uh woke up so Sometimes she'd be looking grumpy, but this is baby girl. <laughs> she is. Oh, she said, I don't like the light. Yeah, so this is baby girl, and she is officially two weeks old. Mm -hmm. um, she is a little tiny tot. Um, I don't know exactly how much she weighs now. She came out six pounds, 13 ounces. Yeah, six pounds, 13 ounces. And 19 inches. 18 and a half. According to the hospital, it was 19, but then we got to the doctor and they said 18 and a half, so. Yeah, when we looked again and I actually <laughs> seen it this time, it's actually, she was born 18 and a half inches, 613. Mm -hmm. That was about seven or eight, eight ounces over Nala. So she was over Nala, but. Um, shorter than Nala. Shorter than Nala. So to me, they're actually about roughly the same. I don't know this any difference now. Granted, she's two weeks old, so she is bigger than what she was when she was first born. Um, but I don't think the camera does justice no. on sizes or whatever. So yeah, this is her and she is a busybody, <laughs> and she definitely moves a lot and makes a lot of noises and have more of a voice than Nala did. And she has a lot. You don't see it right now because she's sleeping, but when she's awake, she has a lot of head control. She can move her head any way she wants to. Yeah, and she stretches a lot. And when you bother her when she sleeps, she makes grumpy faces. She be upset. Yeah, she makes a lot of grumpy faces. So she probably making a now. I don't know because I don't have my glasses or my contacts in. But um, she be looking real upset. <laughs> but noticeable differences. Um, I think she's going to be slightly darker than Nala, but not too much, I don't think. Um, people love to justify by the ears, but I don't think that has any relations to what the actual color look going to be like, because Nala had really dark ears and she is light. Um, but she has a head full of hair, and what else? So I guess we can officially start by um, like the first like 24 to 48 hours mm -hmm. after. Well, we can start by when she first came out. She uh, started crying right away. Yeah. Very vocal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nala didn't do that. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely different and you got to cut the cord. Yep, got to cut time. the cord. And, and her, her cries are it's a different type of cry. <laughs> it's a little piercing. Yeah, it's like, a, okay, I gotta get up and, and, and do something now. It's yeah. like a, ooh. Yeah, when Nala was young, she did a, a gradual. She did an eat. She did a. <laughs> she did an <she> eat. <laughs> she just would sound uncomfortable. This one. This one, she'll, she'll, she'll tell cry. you. She'll let you know. She'll cry. She doesn't cry a lot, but she'll cry when she's hungry. Mm -hmm. And when she's hungry, she don't like let you prep yourself to get her food she'll yell at you and then you feel like you have to uh get it <laughs> um but yeah as far as well her first feeding she took really well to the bottle yeah, yeah. i can definitely tell she really wants to breastfeed but mm -hmm. she's definitely would have been a better candidate for breastfeeding nala you 
it was very forceful. Like we was trying to, and I didn't realize that then because it was our first kid. We didn't really know how babies acclimate to breastfeeding. And now seeing her and how she, her body language and everything, like Nala didn't want to breastfeed, but it's still, it's still a blatant difference. But um, she also eats a lot more. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Then Nala and as far as pooping, like that's one of the big things that they will determine whether you're ready to go and yeah. leave the hospital, depending on how fast the baby poops and when they get that first poop out and stuff like that. So we had to wait a while. We had to be in the hospital for four days with Nala because she had jaundice and it took her a long time to poop and get mm -hmm. her temperature down. With this one, she pooped right away. She pooped about a good four or five times before we left the hospital. But before we go too far, he actually reminded me that we never even officially revealed her name. Yes. So our baby girl name, so how we came up with the name, we actually did film um, uh, a name reveal before this one, before even actually having the baby. But we lost the memory but card. But we lost the memory card. That was one of the things that was on the memory card. So we thought it was best to actually uh, put it in this video. So how we came up with the name was that it was around Christmas time mm -hmm. and he actually kept like saying it in a song. Yeah, there's a song. So when he kept saying that song, it was, I was kind of like, what if we name her that? And it's like, mm, no. And then we just kept saying like, you know what? It kind of like, it works, especially mm -hmm. with Nala's name and you know, and I would never thought that we went down this road of- Same letters, yeah, same first letter. It was between this name and I guess we can say one of the other top candidates mm -hmm. was Haven. Um, but we didn't want to come up with that, or we didn't want to choose that name because for some reason we liked the other name better. So the name that we officially named our baby girl is actually Noel. Noel. <laughs> so it is Noel, and I think it makes it a little softer instead of just having one L. And her middle name is Amaya. A M Y A H. The reason why we kind of went with Amaya is because first of all it had the same initial as Nala's but the main reason why we um went with that name is because it actually kind of has the same meaning as David and Nala's name which is love or be loved so I wanted to keep her in that same meaning dialogue so yeah so her name is Noel Amaya Isaac yes but going back to her feedings um she it was that last name was we'll saying? Yeah, that's her feeding. So, um, yeah, her feeding, she off the bat drank about, no, actually she didn't drink a lot. It was about 10 mLs. Mm -hmm. And we kept feeding her that. And it just felt like we just noticed something was off. So then maybe about after maybe 10 hours of like feeding her and she was only drinking that, uh, we come to realize that the milk she was drinking wasn't something that she actually liked. So um, I spoke to a nurse about it and she was like, well, what do your baby, your other baby drinks? And I said, she drinks gentle ease because the other milk upset her stomach. And then she was like, oh, well, let's try that. So when we tried the ready to feed gentle ease, she drank the whole bottle. Like, no, it was like 30 ml. Yeah. So then the next week then she drinks like 45 and then after that was like the whole bottle. So I was like, okay, yeah, definitely. Right now, fast forwarding to her eating habits now, she is in a growth spurt. She is cluster feeding. Mm -hmm. So she is drinking like every hour, <laughs> like every hour, like a whole bottle. No, like a whole two ounces. And she's using the same bottle <laughs> that Nala uses. You might as well. The same type of bottle. Yeah, and Nala <laughs> drinks still four to five ounces. Mm -hmm. at one and that's the most she's still at she's been stuck at that forever and now she's drinking like two ounces waiting like 15 like 20 minutes and then she'll drink another two ounces so i'm like we're gonna have a little chunky chunk or something <laughs> but i can already tell she's filling out and all kind of stuff already but outside of that uh we when we left the hospital she was Six pounds, five ounces. So yeah, so she dropped about eight pounds from when she was born. Eight pounds. 
I mean, sorry, eight, eight <laughs> ounces. That would have been bad. Eight yeah. pounds. <laughs> yeah, she would have. She <laughs> should be dead. You know, she would be a mess. But uh, yeah, she dropped eight ounces. Um, from when she was born. I think a lot of that was water weight from being inside. Cause she womb. came out so fast. Yeah. And then, so she didn't have any jaundice or anything. They speculated, but for some reason, oddly, like when they did like um, like an external. This hospital wasn't prepared. <laughs> Their tools were, I don't know. the tools they used it was saying she had jaundice and then they would take her to the actual lab. She had to get poked in the foot, get a blood test. And then it would say she don't have Jonna, so they did that like three different times. Yeah, and I'm just kind of like, yo, y'all already tested this way. Why y'all keep testing this way? And then it, it actually was a reason, part of the reason why our delay of discharge. She never had temperature issues. She was very alert. Very alert. She she could actually like keep her eyes open for at least 30 minutes. She actually opened her eyes when she came out. I obviously like, didn't yeah, she that. didn't see it, but <laughs> she had her eyes wide open when she came out. It was crazy. Yeah, so she's super alert. She's been trying to lift her head since day one. If she's on my chest, she will always try to breastfeed. She always try to find a nipple. And it's so weird how uh, babies just know. Automatically know. Yeah, they come she's out trying to find my nipple too. Ain't, ain't gonna be no <laughs> luck there. Outside of that, she sleeps a lot. Yeah. And I do plan on doing a video of my night routine and showing you guys what I do now because it's way different from what we did with Nala. Um, what else? I feel like I'm missing a lot. We're kind of like freestyling this video, so I don't know what to expect to say. But, but if you have any questions, just comment down below about Noelle, her personality, what what's different with her and things like that. Yeah, but a lot of people say that she looks more like David than me. Um, I think it's always hard to tell in the first two yeah. weeks because they change so much. Like I can tell that she has changed since she was born. Um, but when we looked at newborn pictures of her and Nala, um, David didn't even realize this, but they actually looked a lot alike. Yeah. Um, when I pulled up pictures, but I guess y'all let us know, like, who does she look like? I don't know, I think it's too soon to tell. I'm too blind, so I can't even see. She does have my eyebrow. You can, you might not be able to see it, but yeah. her and Nala have, uh, I think, this eyebrow here. Yeah. She got my, my head. <laughs> I feel like my face shape is more light round or whatever. But I think she's just going to be a mix between the two of us again. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have the, the chinky eyes that, no. that Nala had. No, Nala has chinky eyes. We still don't know who she got it from. Yeah. But her personality, I can tell, is going to be very different mm -hmm. and whatnot. She's definitely going to, she's probably going to take more of my personality, I think. Um, but it's still early to tell. She don't really do much. It ain't really much <laughs> else to say really about her. She does stay up a long time, like I said, 30 minutes. But um, our plan is to, we're about to start doing, um, get family photos done this week. So we are planning on posting that. So like I said, uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, make sure you follow us on there. But and yeah. in another video, we'll let you guys know how the two sisters are, you know, interacting with each other. Yes. Um, so this is just a introduction. Introduction video. to her. So we just want to throw this out. I was going to tell more of the recovery process, but I think I can explain that in another video. I just wanted y'all to meet her. And oh, and by the way, we didn't say what day she was born. Oh, we shouldn't have did. <laughs> so she was born on Friday. February 21st, 2020, of course. So, uh, yeah. yeah, four days, four days older than Nala. So they almost had the same birthday. So four days younger. Four days older. She's not older than Nala. She's a year and four days older. You said Nala? Yeah, she's a year and four days. I mean, sorry. Yeah, Nala, that's yeah. what I was saying. Like, so yeah. Nala's a year. <laughs> four, their birthdays are four days apart. Nala is a year and four days um older. So Nala's on the 17th and Noelle's on the 21st, but we got two February babies yeah. in the same week. So yeah. we will be having the same birthday parties yeah, <laughs> while they're young. February is going to be in a very extremely eventful month. We hopefully going to be able to start back eventually having like 
our other holidays during February, but you know it's Valentine's Day, then it's Nolan's birthday on the 17th, then Noel's birthday on the 21st, yeah. and then it's going to be our anniversary on the 23rd, and then um, usually towards the end is always the Black History official last day stuff. Yeah, so it's a very eventful month, and it's also very close to to Christmas and all that stuff. My birthday, which is gonna get forgotten about. <laughs> you had a couple of weeks. My birthday, March 18th. But yeah, this is the introduction to Baby Girl No L. Make sure you guys send plenty of love and say your hellos down in the comment section below. And if you want to know more about this baby girl, because obviously we don't know what else to tell you guys, <laughs> just put your questions down below and that way we can remember to mention it down in another video. So yeah, we definitely love you guys. And, and we are officially now two under, really two under one. Yeah. Well, we're going to say two under two. Yeah, two under <laughs> two. We we officially a whole group. Yeah, that's, that's who big, we are. Big. Yeah, we uh, yeah. So. We we uh, enter a building when we come in, so people <laughs> yeah. know we're there. Yeah, it's definitely a process. Now. Yeah, and I can only imagine how it's gonna be when they get bigger. But that's when it's gonna get fun because we don't have to deal with high chairs, car seats, and all that other stuff. We just can go into a restaurant and they can sit in a chair. <laughs> so yeah, we look forward to reading those down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Alrighty. Bye. Bye. Can't come right to your mom. Just say free black young free young. Lady Woods and Money. R.I.P. your mom.